The libations is an African tradition, and this is done for funerals, weddings, births, and especially an occasion such as this. And we pour the libations. The libations could either be water, wine, or juice. Today, since this was a rice plantation, we will be using rice for the libations. And when we pour the libations, we pour them to the four corners of the uh, world, the north, east, south, and west, because we want to include everybody into the libations. So I'm going to start pouring the libations. And once I pour, after each pouring, I'd like for each of you all to say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Ashe is simply a man or the force of nature because we want everything to be all around us. So I'm going to start pouring. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be sprinkling the rice all over because this was a rice plantation. So that's what I will be doing. And the first pouring will be for the mother country. I pour libations for the mother country who is the cradle of, civiliz of civilization. Ashe. 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 I pour libations for those ancestors, those who we are honoring at this very moment, for the ones who worked these fields, cotton, rice, who stood the uh, test, won the race. So we pour libations for our ancestors. Ashe, 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 Ashe. We pour libations for our youth because they are the promise of tomorrow. I just got finished telling Miss Gwen when she was bringing us in, Miss Gwen, you all are the ones that's gonna be taking over. So you all have to be the ones to get all of the understandings because we are passing this torch onto you all. So we pour libations for our youth. Ashe, 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 Ashe. We pour libations for the people that are not here today, for those who wanted to be here but could not be here. So we pour libations for them. Ashe, 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 Ashe. Now, if there's anybody out here that have anybody that you want to call their names, either present or not present, you can call their names now, and we will pour libations for them. Kane Hammond. We'll want everybody, because we're going to do it, you know, you call the name so that we can pour for everybody that the names were called. The Monty family. Mm -hmm. I pour libations for my mother, Florine Jones West. Anybody else? Thelma Mitchell. Thelma Mitchell. Katie Green. Betsy Waters. Betsy Waters. Eunice Moore. Mm -hmm. We didn't hear. Cornelius Bailey. Cornelius Bailey. Bailey, most definitely. And all of us that are standing here on these grounds. Okay, so for all those names that were called, we pour libations. Ashe. 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 And that's the ending of the pouring of the libations. Right, Thank so you, Ms. Winston. We can go right into the safe time. Need a mic holder, and that'll save a lot of time for okay. us. Okay. <laughs> Miss Jane, we're going to ask her to come at this time, and I'm going to give this rice. I have my uh, brother here, Stanley Lotson. Uh, he's younger than I am. I just happen to look a little better, that's all. 
but he's gonna give everybody some rice while we do this part here. Save a, some for me and Jane at the end, but this is the Carolina Gold. We're gonna plant some rice, we're gonna plant cotton, and some life everlasting. And this gift uh, from us as descendants to Jane and her family, descendants from here, which we're all gonna learn a whole lot more over the next two days as she traveled here to Darien, Mackinac County, Georgia. So these are some plants that our ancestors would have used on the Butler Plantation because we couldn't afford doctors like some of the others that were slave owners. So this is called Life Everlasting. So being that we're trying to pump new life into the Butler Plantation, we thought it would be proper to give this gift for your first visit to this plantation since your ancestors were here over 200 years ago. Please. She's going to have words. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so apt, Arche, Arche. life everlasting. Um, we, we return to this plantation because that's what we all are hoping for. We're hoping for unity. We're hoping to recognize each other and remember that we are linked together forever through this plantation. So we so appreciate your warm welcome and really look forward to learning more with you over these next couple of days. Thank you so much. Arche, 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 Arche. Arche. Thank you. At this time, uh, we're going to have another formal ceremony because it's, we know over 100 years, I don't know the last time cotton was planted here, or rice. So we're going to save the rice uh, for last to plant the rice. And all of us here have a little bit of rice, and we're going to put it in this hole right here, and we're going to plant the rice. But we're going to start off with, since we just did the life everlasting, we thought it would be proper to do the life everlasting in front of this sign for those ancestors that were sold into slavery. So we're just simply going to put this in this hole if somebody can get the shovel right quickly and then put a little dirt on it. We can do it more professional later. Somebody with the shovel. We have a volunteer. Your husband. Yeah. And that's all we're going to do is put the uh, life everlasting right here, dead center. This was uh, pulled up today and uh, so we're gonna plant that right here it may survive I don't know let's get some dirt and put on here maybe from that pile and we can really do it professionally later ashe, ashe, ashe. a little on this side over here I don't want to put my hand in there a little bit more and I think it'll stand up until we can do it a little better that's good the next one we will do is the cotton we got a good shovel man so stick right there don't go anywhere, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> all right this is cotton wow this is a very special moment all my children are fully grown okay and uh, this cotton here was actually grown in Georgia in the McIntosh County in Darien from a seed so we're going to retransplant this. This was dug up just today. And I wanted this one particularly to put here because some of it is just bloom and the others will later. Let's hope it survive, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna plant some cotton probably for the first time in over 200 years on this plantation. All righty, let me put the dirt in there. Okay, we ready for the ready. shovel. All right. We ready for the shovel. And if we have a little pile we of dirt over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, there we go. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. All right, once he put that in, this will conclude this. Then we're going to go to the building. And after we leave the building, we'll go to City Hall. And I think that'll stay. That's okay. That'll stay there. Now, this is one where we all participate in. Everybody that have a little rice. Where's uh, Pastor Stanley Lotson? Somewhere here. Uh, we need a little bit of rice. Jane, you have your rice? You have your rice? Yeah. About four people ain't got rice. Okay. 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 That's how I see this. Yes, Deacon Hudley is here. And uh, Councilman uh, Morris Butler, you're going to hear a lot more about him when it comes to the Butler Plantation. I thought I should get a little bit more rice. I, after. I, I need now. I paid for it, and they only give me. <laughs> <laughs> you said we couldn't have but a little bit. Oh, okay. I'm all right. I'm just, I'm just having fun. Everybody else got rice, right? Yeah. If you can. Uh, but if you don't feel like coming down here, Deacon Hudley, someone can do it for you. But we're all going to 
plant some rice in here. This is real rice and it's real on, Carolina man. gold. It's real rice and it's real Carolina gold. If you can. All right, Morris needs someone to bring his rice. That's Deacon Hudley. Uh, Best Stanley, can you help Deacon Hudley just in case? Fall on me. There you go. All right, we've got it. Did our photographers, well, they all photography down. Okay. Y'all gave Kathleen more than you gave me. I don't know about You're looking real good at it. I'm watching. All right, anybody okay, else? The so you can the rice back in the okay, to put the, cover that up. I want it to be a little colorful, but as we all know, as we conclude this part, we're going to drive down to the building. This is what they did to survive. That was it. We did another interview with Karen. He is the Irish expert. The Irish got paid a dollar a day, and I think it went up to a dollar fifty and up to. $2 a day, the Irish that they brought in. And on the interview, I told them, but the enslaved didn't get paid anything. Dollars a little bit of money, but it was a whole lot more, 100% more than what we got paid. But they did this for a living. We thought we would do the rice last, because that's what was grown here, as well as cotton, indigo, uh, sugar cane, and a lot of other crops. So people think it was just rice here, but uh, cotton was grown here too. So that concludes this part of this, and we're just going to go to the 